Hey guys, Joe and John here with Trillium Service Company and today we're going to be talking about shopping by the API service category. Now the American Petroleum Institute is the API and it is the only national trade association representing all facets of the oil and natural gas industry. On the other side of that we have ILSAC, that is the International Lubricants Standardization and Approval Committee and it sets a standard for lubricants that are recognized internationally. All right, so in layman's terms, what is the difference between these two? What are they? Well, uh, you know, right off the bat, when we're talking about API, the American Petroleum Institute, it, it says it in its name. That is the service category that we're recognizing here in the United States. Um, ILSAC, or the International Lubricant Standardization Approval Committee, it's a lot. Uh, that is one that is being recognized worldwide. Uh, so we have two different categories depending on, you know, where things are made and, and how we're looking at it. Uh, they kind of go hand in hand, but you know, one one base for the United States, one base more international. Right, and that I mean just goes, you know, someone in Germany isn't going to really want to try to comply with the United States specs. Or... Right. Well, you know, a part might be made in Germany and it's going to be, you know, used in Spain or used in the you know, United States. Well, we can't be looking at an API number because the guys in Germany and Spain they aren't going to know what we're talking about. Right. They want to be looking at the international standard. Everybody, that's the one that, that people are, are adhering to internationally. All right, so back domestically, where are we currently at in the API category and uh, basically what is it all about? How often is it updated? What's the purpose? You know, That's a great question, Joe. Uh, we're currently sitting in API service category SN and ILSAC GF5 for gasoline engine oils. Uh, these oils are for vehicles manufactured after 2010 and this service category is introduced in October of the same year. These oils provide better high temperature deposit protection for pistons. Uh, they provide sludge control and seal compatibility. Right. It will help improve fuel economy they protect turbochargers and protect engines operating on ethanol fuels containing up to E85 and more. All right, that's great. So I guess my question is, are these uh, service categories backwards compatible? Let's say I have a vehicle from 2000, you know, earlier than 2010. Can I use an SN certified gas engine oil? Uh, yeah, absolutely you can. Uh, what you want to do is always refer to your owner's manual uh, to see what service category your vehicle was in when it was manufactured. But uh, to your point, an API SN is backwards compatible to the prior service category API SM Hillsack GF4. All right, great. And you can shop by the API SN or SM category by going to the passenger car engine oil section on petroleumservicecompany.com. And for John, I'm Joe. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, guys.